Rainy day today. Love it when it's raining. This is a child. I love when it rains. I don't know. I hear a lot of people, um, they don't like it. They stay home in a warm bed, watching movies. But me, I love it. I want to come outside. I want to enjoy this beautiful day because you rarely see it. See it maybe once a week or it's not an everyday thing. But it gets me in a good mood. And you should not let days like this put you down, especially if you're going through depression, going through some hard moments in your life. Don't let days like this, you know, um, look at it as a beautiful day, take a walk, it's all right, get a little wet, you have an umbrella. Now I'm heading to the shop, um, I gotta do some screens today. I gotta clean screens, so we're gonna talk about cleaning screens today. So I'll see you at the shop. Here's a little B-roll of this beautiful rainy day. Before I even start cleaning, reclaiming these screens, I have to empty out that dip tank and fill it up with water and use the micro wash tool. Almost empty. So once it empty out, clean up the dip tank, take every all that, I don't know, that gulp, all that other stuff inside, throw it out and Start reclaiming the screens. Okay, so let it sit there for five minutes after stir it already and then We'll go and dip in the screen. This is the dark room. First thing I do when I come in here, turn on the exposure unit lights. That's my exposure unit. Screen rack that I built. Screens on the top, screens on the bottom. You got your fans, you got your bulb lights, and another fan just to keep the air circulating. And the table where you're gonna cool screens. To set up your screens, to dry them, you're going to need a dark room. Once you put the emulsion on your screens, that screen cannot get no UV light. Cannot get no UV light. So you're going to need a dark room. And if you're doing it at home, go to the bathroom the way I used to do it when I started. I go to the bathroom, coat them there, put them in a plastic bag, bring them to the closet. Make sure you have a place in the closet with uh, some fans and a little show where they have to be facing down top of it facing down so you can dry you could put a fan right right on it and it will dry in about two hours three hours and if you don't have a fan you have a very small fan just circulating the air give it about a day and then you could be able to expose it Recorded some screens. You got to see the things that you need in the dark room. We cleaned up that dip tank. A must get. Makes your job easier. And this over here is the scoop. Make sure you treat it delicate. Don't let it fall. Don't let it. You want 
this to not be bumpy or scratched or dented, none of that. Keep it nice and clean. Take care, this is very important. And there's only, there's a thin side and a thick side. I have used thin side, thick side. A lot of people say use the thick side, the thin side for higher mesh. I have done both. It's how you feel and what you think works better for you. So if you like this video, press that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I would love that. And may God bless you all. Be grateful and peace out.